Gareth Southgate has picked his final 23-man squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. But can England shed their underperforming tag in Russia? The Three Lions a nation that often produces some of the most exciting players in the game, England's performances, more often than not, at major international competitions often flatter to deceive, which has earned them the tag of perennial underachievers of the game, take for example, their two most recent international competitions. At 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil, England did have a tough group to contend with with former champions Italy and Uruguay in it, but they ended up finishing last, with Costa. Rico the surprise toppers, fast forward to Euro 2016, England did make it out of the group stage but were beaten by debutants Iceland in the round of 16 another forgettable campaign. In the qualifiers though, there has been very little stopping England for quite some time now, and it was more of the same during the qualification stage for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Gareth Southgate's men coasted through without facing much of a problem. As the manager looks to usher in a new era on a positive note, the hard tackle takes a look at the squad that he has picked and the realistic chances at Russia 2018. Group and fixtures England have been drawn in one of the trickier groups in Group G, with Tunisia, Belgium and Panama for company. The Three Lions will begin their World Cup campaign on June 18 against Tunisia, before facing Panama on the 24th. They will then wrap up their group stage assignment with a potential table-topping game against Belgium four days later. The squad lion face lion face lion face pick twitter.com slash xgz5f8hhcl England at England May 16, 2018 Gareth Southgate was one of the earliest to name his final 23-man squad for the World Cup, several weeks before the June 4 deadline set by FIFA. Here are all the players that made the cut in a list that did have some surprise exclusions and inclusions, goalkeepers, Jack Butland, Stoke, Jordan Pickford, Everton, Nick Pope, Burnley, defenders, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Liverpool, Gary Cahill, Chelsea, Fabian Delph, Manchester City, Phil Jones, Manchester United. Manchester United, midfielders, Del Alley, Tottenham Hotspur, Eric Deer, Tottenham Hotspur, Jordan Henderson, Liverpool, Jesse Lingard, Manchester United, Ruben loftus cheek Chelsea, forwards, Harry Kane, Tottenham, Marcus Rashford, Manchester United, Raheem Sterling, Manchester City, Jamie Vardy. Meanwhile, as is usually the case with World Cup squads, there were a few surprise exclusions. The biggest name that seemed to be missing when Southgate announced his squad was undoubtedly Jack Wilshire. The Arsenal midfielder had been a favourite for previous manager Roy Hodgson and had been given the backing to be a key player for England by his departing Arsenal manager, Arsene Wenger. A New England era begins under Harry Kane. Photo courtesy, Jan Kruger, Getty images that Wilshire failed to make it to even the standby list, where Lewis Cook, Adam Lalana and a relegated Jake Livermore were picked ahead of him, only ended up rubbing salt into his proverbial wound. James Tarkovsky is another player who could count himself unlucky for missing the trip to Russia after a stellar campaign with Burnley. Meanwhile, Southgate shocked almost everyone when he named Ruben Loftus-Cheek in his squad, even though the 22-year-old had enjoyed a strong season with Crystal Palace, on loan from Chelsea. But, the fact that the player trumped Jojo Shelby, a popular call to make the cut, was more surprising than his selection itself. Southgate's reasoning was that he is focusing on giving the players he believe in some exposure as he looks to develop and integrate them in his squad. The same policy also saw Trent Alexander-Arnold make the squad for the World Cup, although not many would argue with his selection after a fantastic season with Liverpool. The key player for England though, will undoubtedly be Kane, who will need to continue his club scoring form for his national side to stand any chance of succeeding in the tournament. Alongside him, the likes of Marcus Rashford, Del Alli and Raheem Sterling will bring a youthful verve to the side.
The manager England started their World Cup qualifying campaign under the tutelage of Sam Allardyce, who succeeded Roy Hodgson to the national job. They began well under him as well, winning their beating Slovakia in their first game, but the veteran manager soon had to part ways with the national side after getting mired in allegations of malpractice. With Allardyce vacating the spot after just 67 days and one game, the FA had to scramble to find a manager, at least for the rest of the qualification campaign. And, they did so by promoting Gareth Southgate from the under-21 side to the senior setup. While the three Lions haven't exactly set the stage on fire under his tutelage, the young manager has brought stability and a youthful flavor to the national side, while also overseeing an unbeaten qualifying campaign. Eyes on the prize Photo by Alex Livesey, Getty Images During this phase, Southgate has experimented with a number of playing styles and systems, but ahead of the World Cup, he looks to have zeroed in on the 3-5-2 formation, with the focus on shoring the defensive side of things while looking to attack at pace. Jordan Pickford seems to have done enough to be the first-choice goalkeeper at the World Cup ahead of Jack Butland and Nick Pope, but the back three poses a lot of question marks. Well, Kyle Walker looks to have surprisingly nailed a place in the three-man central defensive pairing due to his pace, the choice of his partners is uncertain. Southgate may be focusing on creating a young squad, but Gary Cahill is likely to be the leader at the back for England, with one of Phil Jones and John Stones completing the back line. In midfield, Eric Deere will sit deep as the anchorman in front of the back four, giving the attackers in front of him the freedom. The wingbacks are likely to be Kieran Trippier and Ashley Young. Meanwhile, the front quartet is the most settled unit, with Harry Kane, Jesse Lingard, Del Alley and Raheem Sterling likely to start, with Kane and Sterling being the most advanced forward. Lingard and Alley will be given a free roll and will look to create overloads in and around the opposition box probable starting lineup 3-5-2 Pickford, Walker, Cahill, Stones, Trippier, Lingard, Deer, Alley, Young, Kane, Sterling THT Verdict Recent international competitions have seen a template England side and set up take the field. But there is something refreshingly different about Gareth Southgate. A new look, youthful side that does not fear even the biggest sides in the world. The same is evident from the fact that they haven't conceded from open play in 627 minutes of football against the likes of Brazil, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands. Tunisia and Panama could potentially prove to be hard to break down, but the three Lions should have enough to come through their group. A tough match may await in the round of 16, but we predict this fearless side to make it through to at least the quarterfinals, with Harry Kane leading from the front, and the likes of Raheem Sterling and Del Alley enjoying fine campaigns as well.